What is up, guys? Welcome to APA Week 7 versus Slick Panther and the Cleveland Left Cavaliers. Slick brings everything we expected except no Mega Medicham. I mean, no Medicham and no Earthstream, which is great. Maybe he does bring the Chandler, which was something I definitely could expect him to bring, and he does bring the Ariados, which made no sense in my opinion. I'm sounding like this because I just got done with the battle, and I was going to say, guys, I'm just going to title the episode I Just Suck. Because for whatever I do, either I'm just not making smart plays or I just don't know how to play at all. Like, I just don't know, man. It just sucks, you know? I just don't know what to do. Let's just get into the battle. So I'm gonna see the core so he's gonna go there, just try to go for the call mine. Probably should I go in for the attack right here, so the call mine to begin. I go into this thing, make a hard swap predicting that. One to scout for the ice beam I do. I blow Strength side here to get the full health. Go right back into Pyro, predicting the Shadow Ball here. Part of me really wishes I had clicked Fire Blast, but I can't give that Chandelure Flash Fire Boost. But then again, Chandelure couldn't have touched me, so then I could have played around that. I go into the Royalty here. I go for the Sword Stance. Go aside to go for the Aqua Tail because there's a chance to kill it before. He goes for Mega Horn and lands, which is awesome. RNG really loves me. I go into this thing, I decided to click Boom Burst, and he's max HP, Whimsicott. I should have just sacked, I should have just attacked right there, as you're going to see here. I should have calculated the Moon Blast here. I should have just gone for an attack, predicting he was going to do that. He's going to take 35%, and he's basically going to get all of his health back, because it's about 19. I go with my he actually glowing, he goes to click Moon Blast, knocks me into emergency exit range. I go into Fly On. And you're about to see if I had just clicked Boom Burst twice on that one turn, I would have lived. I would have lived. This drops two shots. So, yeah, I end up just costing myself the game because, one, I can't switch on Stealth Rocks again, and two, that just happens. I go Galistapod. I don't know why he didn't sucker punch me there. Basically, just give him Galis. I go Corsola. Which, in theory, I should have went Electros. If I had went Electros, I probably would have won. Because I Strength Set here. Got all my health back. I should have clicked Call Mine. Before he went into this thing. Then I click this. He clicks Sucker. It kills. And then I go Electros. Where I should have probably clicked Thunder Punch instead of Coil. I thought he was just going to click Sucker Punch since it was the smarter play. But now he doesn't. Now he clicks Sucker Punch. Now he just clicks Sunny Slash. And he basically wins this game 2-0. I'm really sorry guys. I feel like sometimes I do fail you guys. It's just, I don't know. I feel like my team's really good. It's just... RNG man. Like, the fact he landed in Mega Horn. Like, that's so dumb. Megahorn's like 75 accuracy. It's almost like how you would go for in like doing fireballs and stuff. And he landed it. He landed it. It's just so stupid, dude. I also say I'm just stupid that I didn't calc a moon blast. I should have calc the moon blast because I had a lot of HP. P investment. I should have calc that moon blast. If I knew I was gonna live that moon blast, I could have just constantly kept spamming boom burst until he went shandy. And then what I do is I probably go into I probably just go into Corsola. Probably sat Corsola off because I don't think I was gonna see too much else with Corsola. Then I go back. Because if he's basically got that thing gone, I just spam Dragon Rate, Dragon Pulse versus his entire team, and I could have won that. 
I think I literally could have just won this match if I had win this, click Coil as he clicked that, click Drain Punch to not, click Giga Drain and knock him out, then Thunder Punch, Thunder Punch, Thunder Punch. Thunder Punch probably would have been a roll to kill you, so I would have had to click that. And then if for some reason like this is in the back, and if I kept my Violite, I can take one hit, Ice Beam him, and I would have won. Thunder Punch, Thunder Punch, yeah, so... I just, I'm not thinking. I don't know if it's just, like, it's been what happened with Socks. I don't know if it's just been me not playing great. I just don't know. I'm I'm just sucking, and I don't know why. Partially because of an RNG. RNG always plays a factor in this match. It just always does towards me. I just don't know what to do. I don't know if I'm just, just being crap at the game. I don't know if I'm just not doing anything right. Like... Because now I'm out of playoffs. I had to beat Slick in order to make playoffs. Now there's legit no way I can make playoffs. I'm 2-5. and five. There's no legitimate way to make playoffs. Because the only way to legitimately make playoffs now is to, in a sense, maybe win out. And then have to win out roughly 4-5-0 to five or higher for differential standard points and stuff like that. In order to do anything but... And maybe break ties, but... In my opinion, there's no way I can make playoffs. There's no way. I was the third or fourth to the bottom. There's literally no way I can make playoffs. I'm now probably either the second to the bottom, which means I'm like the third. Like, there's the third. Like, say it's 20. I'm probably the 18th to the 19th to the 20th. I'm probably in that range after these two battles. So, there's legitimately no way I can make playoffs. There's no because it's top eight. For some dumb reason, instead of top 12. If it was top 12, I probably would have... I would have still had a legitimate chance. I would have to, now at that point, win out the season. But, no, they want to do top 8 when there's 20 coaches. Yeah, that... that, that uh, no, 16 coaches, I'm pretty sure, actually. 16 coaches, which is, in my opinion, stupid. It should be top 12. It's also your first season. You want to give as many people the chance to make playoffs, so... It's whatever. I don't care. I don't know if I'll come back for season two. It's just... I don't know. But yeah. I don't even know if I'm going to really put effort into my matchups, guys, for these next few weeks. I, mean, I don't even know if I want to play them, to be honest with you. I just... I'm just sick and tired of losing. Last time, I lost. I got basically cheated out of my win. And now right here, I just got screwed a little bit by RNG. And I'll play it. Like, Slick's a tough battler. I'm not admitting that he got lucky beating me because of the Mega Horn. He's generally a good player. I will admit, I just made stupid plays, and that's about it. I just don't know what to do, man. I just don't know if I'm just, just stupid and just can't do anything right, or what. It makes me feel like those championships I've earned were flukes, because I just play like an idiot sometimes. Well, it is what it is. Gigi's just slick, and slick's more than likely going to make the playoffs, so it is what it is. But I'm going to go ahead and get out of this video here, guys. I'm open too much. I'm ranting too much. I'm going to go ahead and just let you guys enjoy your day. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Until next time, guys, I'm Phil Shocker, Lenny, Stay I'll see you all later in the next video. Until next time, guys, peace.